Hello, and welcome to Eaton's Power Systems Experience Center in Houston, Texas. Today, we're discussing ohmic voltage sensing, or OVS, as an alternate solution for voltage transformers, or VTs, or potential transformers, or PTs, to provide accurate voltage measurements for metering and relay applications. In this video, we will discuss several benefits of OVS systems compared to traditional PTs, and explain where they could be applied. But first, let me explain why an OVS system or PTs are needed for medium or high voltage applications. Power distribution equipment uses relays and meters to protect and monitor both the equipment and loads downstream. For example, if you wanted to measure the voltage on your 13.2 kV system, a PT would step that voltage down to 120 volts that is safe for the meter to accept as an input and the meter would then apply a multiplying factor to scale the measurement back to 13.2 kV. However, PTs are primarily an inductive component and are susceptible to switching transients because inductors don't like to change current quickly. In addition, power systems have distributed inductance and capacitance, and these components can interact with the inductance of PTs. For both these reasons, transients and resonance conditions related to the inductance of PTs can cause damage to the PT, and in some extreme cases, problems with the power system if ferroresonance occurs. Ferro resonance is a condition where the inductance of the magnetizing branch of the PT and the distributor capacitance of the power system conductors excites a situation that causes the PT to falsely represent the actual voltage of the power system and may damage the PT or actuate the fuses on the system. An ohmic voltage sensing system can address each of these issues by replacing the inductive characteristics of a PT with a resistive voltage divider, or RVD, on each phase that is not susceptible to these conditions. The voltage dividers produce a ratioed output voltage by measuring between the coupling elements. The OVS system takes a ratioed signal from the output of the RVD to an amplifier. The amplifier then sends an input signal to the protective relays and metering devices mounted in the switchgear at a voltage level expected by the meter or relay. The signal can be tailored to the voltage required by the meter relay with a range from 120 volts line to line or 69.3 volts line to neutral. The voltage is then ratioed back up to the actual power system level, 13.2 kV for example. The amplifier can provide 0.5 volt amps per phase, allowing it to provide input to multiple digital meters or relays. The OBS system is also designed tested and validated to be vendor agnostic so that it can be used with meters and relays designed for traditional PTs. Combined, the OVS system can provide better than 1% metering accuracy at nominal medium voltage system operating voltage, making it suitable for non-revenue metering and protective relay applications. Here in the Power Systems Experience Center, we have OVS systems installed in various designs. In this application, for example, these voltage dividers are 15 kV rated. Notice they're installed in the rear of the switchgear and how they are connected to the bus. This allows for installation behind an existing breaker, taking less room than a traditional PT compartment. From the voltage divider, the signal is sent to the adapter and amplifier installed in the control power compartment. And finally, these voltage measurements are taken from the amplifier to the corresponding meter or relay. In summary, the benefits of an OVS system include the elimination of primary switching transients and resonance problems since the OVS is constructed using non-inductive resistors and does not require fuses. The same lack of fuses and spare parts also reduces the cost of maintenance. With traditional PTs, you can have a phase shift in the waveform, but with the OBS system, there is virtually no phase shift, providing a more accurate measurement. OBS maintains high reliability with an estimated mean time before failure of 34 and a half years. And finally, RVDs are much smaller than PTs and can be fixed mounted in the rear of the gear. Therefore, RVDs don't require an auxiliary compartment, allowing an additional feeder breaker or additional device such as an RTAC 
PLC or Ethernet switch, or possibly even eliminate the structure. To learn more about Omic Voltage Sensing Systems and to see them installed in Switchgear, contact us or your local Eaton representative to schedule a visit to one of Eaton's Power Systems Experience Centers today.